Uh, well, hello. Uh, I have chosen the book Le Mans 55. Uh, my grandpa showed it to me. Um, well, I might as well get started. Um, number one. I chose the book Le Mans 55, The Crash That Changed, that changed the Face of Motor Racing. Um, the author of this book is Christopher Hilton. The publication year is 2004, and the genre is either nonfiction or sports entertainment. I mean, you can look at it in either way. Um, well, that's the first part. Um, get this here. Number two. Um, it, it, it's about the worst crash in motor racing history, obviously, as I said. Um, it killed um, over 80 people. Um, it was a ferocious, haunting combination of circumstances, nationalism, raw speed, the nature of a 24-hour race, and chance. The crash drew Mike Hawthorne, the blonde Englishman in a Jaguar, and uh, Juan Manuel Fangio, one of the greatest drivers of all, in a Mercedes. A crowd of almost a quarter million people watched hypnotized as Hawthorne set, set out to break Fangio. And the two cars were going faster and faster and faster. <laughs> An another Englishman, Lynx M Macklin, was caught up in the crash as well in his Austin Healy, along with a 50-year-old Frenchman driving under the assumed name as Pierre Levet. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time as his car scythed through the crowd of people killing over 80 people. Um, for number three, three, I think, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed how the author was almost uh, like an announcer if you were watching it on television. Like, I've loved Formula One for like the longest time. Seriously, the longest time. Uh, I watched it with my brother. Um, I think it's probably one of the most dangerous and more, most interesting races, for sure. Um, I, I mean, 24-hour race, I mean, that's just... Uh, it's, it must be tiring, at least. Um, for uh, number four, if I can find it, right here, number four. Uh, I really feel like the book was like pretty statistic-y. Uh, it was kind of hard to follow with different things happening in, while racing. I mean, it, it's much easier to watch it as they explain it so you can uh, understand it better. But a lot of the a lot of the competitors were so close-minded. Uh, they, they just had to win. They didn't care who the other people were. They just had to win. Uh, I thought that was, uh, I thought that, I think safety should have been much more important than that. Uh, for, uh, number five, the style of the writing, um, I had to choose four different ones, as you already know. Um, I really felt like it was mostly in the point of view. Because it was completely filled with quotes. I mean, quotes from different people trying to make you look at look at the racing in their way so you can understand it better. Um, it was very detailed, as I said, statistic-y before. Uh, you still learn, like, so much just, just learning about the race. I mean, like, I, I didn't know what the Le Mans was before I, I read this book, and now I feel like I know it quite well. Um... <sighs> The, the diction, there was some, I guess, but the author really stayed on course with the point that he was trying to go across with the book. Um, do I have number six? I hope I do. Uh, number six. Would I recommend it? Uh, absolutely. I, I definitely would. I, I guess it depends on who you are. If you're interested in NASCAR, Formula One, any type of racing or even cars, you probably should read about it because it's probably the most interesting race you can even do. I mean, 24 hours nonstop, it's very interesting. And um, especially with how, uh, what, back in 1955, how this happened, uh, you really just want to keep on reading it and reading it until you figure out what truly happened on that fateful day, you know? Um, for the last one here, number seven, what age level do I think it should be? I think it should be at least 14. I mean, it's kind of a hard book to read. Uh, it was more dry in the beginning. Uh, 
But you th still think you should be about 14 to understand what he's truly saying. But if you are in love with cars, you definitely should give it a shot. It was quite a read if you really... It's quite a read, and you really do get sucked into it. And I really do suggest it if you do decide to read something like it.